Hi, I've been looking online for information on the correct way to re remove this old Danfoss TRV thermostatic radiator valve from the brass valve body. And what I've found is that all of the information is either incomplete or actually incorrect and will damage the valve. The advice seems to be, you can see there's a knurled ring at the bottom below the valve body itself, the thermostat body itself. That has a little movement on it, but locks at that point. <laughs> and the advice is, get hold of that with a pair of grips and simply twist it and it will click and click and click until eventually it comes off. That is damaging the thermostat. You can see inside it has four little lugs which are moulded into the plastic. These match with four lugs on the brass valve body and they prevent the thermostat from twisting on top of the valve body. That's their job. You should not be turning them. The clicking that you're hearing is these plastic lugs being forced over the brass valve lugs. And inside you can see there and there are the two metal, um, I, I don't know quite what you'd call them, um, metal inserts that lock the thermostat body over the brass valve. Now they are what we have to retract. The trick is that look for the reference point and go to the right from that and there you can clearly see is a clip. That is a locking clip for that lower knurled ring. If I insert a screwdriver underneath that and lift slightly, you can now see that locking clip has lifted up. And now we can turn the lower knurled nut. Right, now if I turn the nut now, a bit more, there we are. If you, if you watch the metal clips, you'll see they retract and they lock back in place. Now the valve can simply be lifted off. Uh, when you come to replace it, you put it on and if you just push the valve on, it must be there, there, you can see that as you push it on, this, it releases those two clips again. And then you simply push that little clip down till it's flat again and the valve is locked into place. Okay, you must release this clip there. It lifts just a millimeter or two. And then when you twist the valve, it locks those teeth back and the, the thermostat can be lifted off. You do not need grips. You don't need any tools other than something small like the electronic screwdriver here. Okay, bye-bye.